at something. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about dealing with that system overload notification which anyone who uses Logic will know all about because Logic loves to cram that down our throats especially when we're working on a big project. So as you can see in front of me right now I have got that system overload notification and it says and I quote the audio engine wasn't able to process all required data in time. You can try and increase the buffer size, change the multi-threading options at Logic Pro X, uh, preferences, audio and devices. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to quickly talk about a couple of different things you can do to try and prevent the system overload. Um, and what's happening, it's basically the CPU is overloading. Uh, there's a lot of data which Logic has to process at one time and it's accompanied with the fact that computers only have a certain amount of RAM so if you overload that Logic is basically going to have a fit and spaz out. How can we stop this from happening? There is three different ways we can help to prevent this from happening and I'm going to show you them right now. So let's get into it. So method number one, obviously first we'll get rid of that, we don't want that, is to increase the buffer size in logic now how do we increase the buffer size so if we go to logic pro x in the top corner go to preferences and audio as you can see it says io buffer size this is what you need to turn up if your system is overloading i purposely put it to 64 trying to get that system overload notification um and you've got all these different sizes of buffer size I always tend to have it on 1024 just because I work in a lot of large projects and I feel like this is the only setting sometimes that prevents any system overloading. So I'll be put it on that or you don't even have to, if it's quite a small project you can put it on 256, 512. Your project won't normally um, overload until you have a serious amount of tracks going and this track uh, run it through has about 100 different tracks. So we'll apply that. And then it will initialize the audio. This can take a little bit of time because um, logic, but uh, once it has initialized, that should go away. And hopefully, then we should stop getting uh, the system overload. So I'm going to get rid of that. Now, this is where it spazzed it last time. Let's have a listen. Oh dear, it's still overloading. So, what's the second thing we can do? Another thing we can do is we can try to decrease the size of the project because you don't notice even when you delete stuff, all that is stored in Logic. The project size can still be big. And um, if we go into the top corner here, this is all our audio library here. So what do we do? We go to edit and then we can select unused. So this selects all tracks which are not being used. And as you can see here, there is a lot. There's a lot going on here that's not actually been used in the track at all. So what we can do then is delete all the selected. So we haven't deleted any tracks which have been used, but all that data which has been stored by Logic, even though we thought we deleted from the track, was still there. We've now deleted that. So now our project's got a lot smaller. So let's try playing again. There you go. We have solved the system overload problem. Uh, either one of the two that I've just showed you or both work. Now, I did mention there was a third option. The third one is to do with the RAM on your computer. I have a 16 gigabyte RAM MacBook Pro. So I do have a, a, a decent amount of RAM for Logic to be powered on. But if you've got eight gigabytes, it could be a lot harder for your Mac to process uh, Logic, especially if it's got other applications open. So one thing I recommend as well, if these two options don't work, is if you have anything like Chrome open, uh, maybe uh, Splice or it's any, any applications you've got open which might take up uh, RAM space on your computer, which you're not using at the time of Logic, I advise you close them because then that frees up the RAM for logic to work properly in your Mac. But yeah, any three of them will work. Normally, I don't. Normally, I only need to use the first option, which is changing the buffer size. But sometimes it's always just to get in a good habit of deleting any files you're not using anyway. Clean up your project. A clean project is a happy project, and it will improve your workflow. So yeah, guys, I hope that solved whatever problem you're having right now. 
and and if you have any more questions regarding system overloading or logics buffer size or anything like that feel free to message in the comments below and i will answer your questions if you made it to this video like and subscribe videos are uploaded every monday wednesday and friday and i will try uh, to do as much content as you guys want as possible so yes guys thank you for watching and <laughs>